So we're going to start in the Canadian version. And I'll move right over here. First things first, under engagement properties, we need to set the tax jurisdiction to the appropriate region, and that is Canada in this case. And we can then choose the tax vendor we want if we're using one that's on the list. And here we have not applicable tax prep or profile. Once selected, we can click OK to continue. Now, I will get back to this for the US software as well, so just keep that in mind. There's a lot of similarities between the two, but there's some subtle differences that are very important as well. So Canadian tax codes and general index of financial information, or GIFI codes, are now available to be assigned to the accounts. This can be accomplished in a number of different ways, but the easiest is to associate the tax codes and or GIFI codes with the map numbers, so when the accounts are mapped, the appropriate codes are automatically applied through the mapping process. Let's have a look at the mapping database under engagement, I select mapping, and if I scroll to the right, in the Canadian version we can see the columns for both the tax code, or tax export code, and the GIFI code. Although there is a tax code column in the mapping database which does allow for the assignment of tax export codes, in Canada most users use the GIFI codes to export to their tax software. GIFI codes can be assigned to map numbers in the mapping database by using the drop down in the column and selecting the appropriate GIFI code for the map number. Later, when the map number is assigned to the account, all associated properties are also assigned, including GIFI codes. We have the same ability if you wanted to use the tax export codes, and the tax export code list here is based on the vendor selected under engagement properties. If you're not using the mapping functionality of Case for Working Papers, you can still use the Assign dialog under the Account menu, and we have either Assign Tax Export Codes or Assign Giphy Codes, which will give us the accounts on the left-hand side and the codes on the right-hand side where we can just drag and drop the item across, and that will apply the account to the code. I'm going to cancel out of that. Finally, we also have the ability in the Working Trial Balance to assign the Giphy code directly to the accounts. Scrolling to the right, we can locate the Giphy column in the working trial balance. There's a tax export code. A little bit further on, we have the Giphy code after the current year final balance. And again, clicking the drop down allows us to select the appropriate code and assign it directly to the account. Now, I'm going to expedite the assignment of Giphy codes by using the auto map feature found under Tools, Options, Mapping, Autofill and auto map now. Case for working papers assigns the map numbers and related properties to the account map numbers, to the account numbers. In this case, auto map requires that the ratio class has been applied to the accounts prior to auto mapping. And normally, after I've completed this, I would go through and validate the map numbers. However, I'm going to assume that all accounts were properly mapped and I'm not going to worry about validating those map numbers at this time. 